Okay, uh, we received a question, so this is our next gateway video. It's a common expression uh, repeated and attributed to O Sensei. Uh, it doesn't matter that this is not the exact quote, but this is how it was phrased in the question, okay? And uh, the phrase attributed to O Sensei is something akin to everything in Aikido is in Ikkyo, okay? Ikkyo in Japanese means first teaching, okay? So the phrase is uh, there, everything you could ever want is in the first teaching. Uh, the first teaching is important, everything's in there, any of those variations, okay? And we're asked here for this gateway video, is this true, but really do I agree with that, okay? And I would say yes, but we have to remember some things, okay? Ikkyo is part of Kihon Waza. Kihon Waza are not self-defense responses. Kihon Waza are, in essence, purification rituals, okay? So we have to understand what's going on here. Silk Road culture, which eventually leads us from mainland Asia and eventually into Japan, had something, uh, I don't want to say unique, but it, it it, compared to modern understanding, it's different. I mean, it's hard, hard for us to understand, okay? So let's say you have spiritual traditions that really focus in on, uh, let's say, the mind or the soul or the spirit. Um, and then you have other spiritual traditions that will allow for some sort of energetic investigation into things, okay? So for example, um, I would say modern day Buddhism is very much almost like a psychology nowadays. So it's almost irrelevant what the body is doing, okay? The reason that's possible is because in pre-modern Buddhism, that seed was planted, okay? It degenerated into what we have today, which I would say is not even Buddhism, but the seed was there, okay? That you could look at the mind without an energetic component or without a body component, although pre-modern times, they never did really. Okay, they never did. When you get deeper into it, and you look at what they're actually doing, they didn't really. But there was room for it, hence what we have today. If we take another tradition, such as Taoism, it's, it's impossible, you, it's, it's, it's more impossible to look at Taoism as only a kind of philosophy is it, and of the mind. It's just... It, there's, there's too much history and too much obviousness to deny that there is a body component and more importantly, there's an energetic component uh, and so you have to deal with those things, okay? Aikido, on that Silk Road, at the end of that Silk Road, adopted that idea of its human cultivation. You're going to work at those three levels, a physical level, an energetic level, and then what I am calling, uh, so that moderns understand more easily, is a spiritual level, okay? Um, okay, so I have these three levels. It's not just a mind, it's not just a psychology. Uh, it's got to have this energetic value, okay? That's key, and it has a body component. So let's just take this one, and what are you trying to do in this tradition? Well, it's holding that there was a Tao, the Tao split and manifested yin and yang, and from yin and yang, the rest of the world was created, the rest of the cosmos was created. Well, this is a kind of, uh, it's hard to say, is it dualist, is it monist? It's both, okay? Because you can't reverse it. 
So when I lose the distinction between yin and yang, I get back to the nameless, okay? So what you're trying to do in Aikido is, in my verbiage, transcend yin and yang. You're trying to do that energetically. When you energetically transcend yin and yang, physically, you'll generate a non-contesting martial tactical application. You will also generate an Aiki adhesion here, because two things will become one. And at a spiritual level, the two minds will also be reconciled. So just like there's two things, and they're gonna become one thing, the two minds will become one thing too. Okay. Meaning, if I can generate a reconciliation of yin and yang, I'm going to have Aiki at an energetic level. At a spiritual level, my mind will actually organize itself, so to speak, in a way very much like a tradition that's working just on the mind, just on the mind of enlightenment, gets to do, okay? So you can, in this tradition, hey, you can develop that enlightened mind by working on yourself energetically, okay? And so that, that is what you're trying to do. Now, how do you do that? Well, you have this idea that the way to reconcile yin and yang, because it's often represented like this, If you spin these things, okay, so for example, let us just say that this is yang and this one is yin. Okay, so the vertical line is yang and the horizontal line is yin. Well, if I rotate, the yang line is now horizontal, making it yin. So theoretically, I transition yang to yin. If you see that, I made that. And now, they just keep expanding this concept, and they go, if I keep spinning it, you see, yang keeps turning into yin, yin keeps turning into yang, they no longer exist in this kind of polar opposition to each other, and I keep mixing it and mixing it, okay? And as I mix them, I change their values ever, they don't maintain their oppositional nature, they start to transcend because they lose their dichotomous relationship to each other. So what Aikido does in this simple understanding is it rotates them both, as I just did two-dimensionally this way, and also this way it rotates them. And then it takes that whole cross and it is spinning it horizontally, vertically as it's moving it on a spiral horizontally, vertically, okay? And this is going to reconcile yin and yang, you're gonna get Aiki, you'll see an adhesion as the uke's body and the naga's body become one. They get stuck together, physically stuck together. What you'll experience if you can do it is you'll enter into that ecstatic state. You'll lose your subjective sense of identity, you'll reconcile fear, you'll reconcile your will to power, and now you could be described, I'm one with the Tao, I am the Tao, the Tao is emanating through me, okay? That's what you're trying to do. This notion of taking the first of something or the smallest of something is a notion you see throughout mystical traditions. Aikido is a mystical tradition because this process of division into two things back into one thing or the reconciling of the two minds or the loss of the subjective experience of self, that is the mystical experience, okay? In mystical traditions, it is very, very common to take the first of something or the smallest of something to get practitioners to realize don't 
focus on the surface of things. Go to the heart of the matter. What is the heart of the matter here? It's this reconciliation of yin and yang energy within your body internalized in the lower Tom Den field. That is where that happens. Okay? That is what you're supposed to do. So, for example, you have in the Gospel of Matthew, Jesus will compare the kingdom of heaven to a mustard seed, the tiniest of seeds. Throughout the mystical discourses of history and culture, you're going to see a reference to the first of something, the smallest of something, to get practitioners to not get lost in the weeds of the surface of things, okay? So, what this means then is in Ikkyo, you're going to spiral rotate your lower tanden field to reconcile yin and yang in both directions. You'll do it once to the left and once to the right. So you complete all the directions because you're rotating vertically and horizontally. Okay? And that means there's nothing else to do. That is all in Ikkyo. But it does not mean that you couldn't have said, it's all in Nikyo, it's all in Sankyo, it's in everything, that's in everything. The pointer here of Ikkyo is you don't need to look beyond, especially if you can't understand this at the first teaching level, okay? So let me now show you how you see both spiraling, rotating cross patterns, one to the left, one to the right, in Ikkyo, if it is done correctly. Okay? You can't do any old pattern. You have to do the spiraling, rotating cross pattern of your lower top end field, which requires that you're moving a particular way. You can't move any old way. Okay? It also so happens that, because it's a concentric understanding, it also so happens if I generate the proper energetic value, the spiraling, rotating cross in both directions, you will also have a martially viable Ikkyo. When you see that this is doing yang yang clashes or only rotating the Tanden field in one direction, not back in the other direction, you'll see that you don't have a martially viable Ikkyo. Okay? So we'll show that now. Okay, so as an energetic purification ritual, why is this purification? Because the manifestation of yin and yang is the worldly manifestation. It's the world manifestation. And the world is polluting, you see? We are of the world. We are of matter, but we are also not of matter. If we get too much worldly, too much of matter, too materialistic like we are, you get polluted. You, you aren't what you're supposed to be. Okay, what are you supposed to be? You are, you are an embodied spirit. That's what you are, okay? And what happens as we become secular materialists, just look at the stats. You're gonna go crazy. That's what's gonna happen to you because that is not what you are. So in Christian or Catholic discourse, my own, instead of saying you're one with the Tao, you would say you're now an imager of God. Okay? You, God works through you. You're an imager of God. That is your true nature. That is what you're supposed to be. You're not supposed to be Cain in the city. You were supposed to be Adam in the Garden of Eden. Okay? So, I'm going to purify myself by undoing the things of the world and what the world is in essence is a dichotomy between yin and yang. So the first thing we do in the ritual is he's going to press into me I'm going to use that yang energy. I'm going to take it internally, bounce it off the ground. So it's going to go down. I'm going to sink it down to the ground. Yang, I'm going to convert it to chi, it's, uh, to, to uh, yin chi. I'm going to bounce it back up. It's going to be yang chi. And then I'm going to start rotating it in my tanden field. Okay? So as he pushes here, uh, it's not in my arm. It's swelling and establishing that tanden field. I feel the bouncing, and now I'm going to start rotating it. 
So the field in this case, because he grabbed my right hand, the, the rotating cross is going to turn to the right first before it comes to the left. So it goes to the right. You can, doesn't matter if you do it with maneuvers, does not matter. It goes to the right. As it goes to the right first, it's going to go up. So watch his center. Boom, boom. His center goes up because my tandem field goes up. So to the right, up, back to the left, and then it's going down. Now I've done one side of the spiraling rotating cross, completing it here. Come around, camera. Now I'm going to go the other way with the spiraling rotating cross. So it's going to go to the left, boom, comes around, it went up, and then it goes down, boom. And this is where the technique ends on the down. So I've done both sides of the spiraling rotating cross. From in here, my field moves. This is different. No rotation. Very common, this version. Boom, or this version. Pushing straight in, pushing straight in, brace, no, let me have it, pulling out, you're thinking you can go here, brace, no, doesn't work, rotate, brace, I'm not going to go that way, I go this way, I'm not going to go this way, I go that way. My mind, you'll start to feel it if you can do it. You'll hit that state of mind you want. Okay, so the question that my Deshi brought up is uh, they're getting pushed over, okay? Uh, why is that happening? Because she cannot internalize the yang energy. If you cannot internalize the yang energy, you cannot generate the tanden field, you won't get the rebounding yang energy, you won't be able to convert yang to yin and then yin to yang, and then you won't be able to rotate the tandem field because it doesn't exist and the two chi do not exist either, okay? All that happens is that the yang energy is coming up your arm and into wherever you flex, usually the shoulder or the bicep area. Okay, so we'll, and this was your question. So, did you see how I explained it though? Yes. Okay, so you're gonna go, good. And th this is what's happening. Okay, so uh, you can you can stand up, okay, and you can you can push 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 your push your push your freaking hardest. Use use all of your strength. Okay, so it's not I'm not you can do that, but I want you to see how it's okay. You see, so. Again, it's not that I'm bracing. If you pay attention, you flex and you brace. So if I flex and brace, go ahead, go ahead, and you can see, okay? So you have the angle, you have, you can probably generate more yang energy than I could 
when I tried to go young, so you're making me yin to you. You see that? But when I don't contest you, remember at the physical level, I'm going to have non-contestation. Non-contestation by people who are secular materialists means you push me, I get out of the way. Non-contestation means your energy passes through me. Okay, that's what we want. So you can see as I started to get this bracing cant and the flexion, whoa, you got me, okay? So you're here and you're pushing again. And again, uh, it doesn't matter, push, it doesn't, my posture is not relevant to what I'm doing, okay? It, do, it doesn't matter, do you see? So you're pushing, are you getting tired? Okay, push, so doesn't matter what I'm doing because it's just passing through me, okay? Um, and you need to have that skill in order to even start this process, okay? Okay, so we're, now we can answer this more directly. Everything in Aikido is in Ikkyo, is this true? Okay, energetically, yes, it's true. In terms of purification, misogi, yes, it's true. Okay. In terms of generating the ecstatic or mystical experience, yes, it's true. In terms of doing what you're supposed to do as a human being, as a human organism, return to the Tao or become an imager of God, yes, it's true. Marshally, no, it's not true. Okay, remember, Ikkyo is a kihon waza. Kihon waza is this. It's a ritual exercise for this, okay? In terms of other kihon waza, is it true? Can they be everything? Yes and no. Yes, from energetically, misogi, ecstatic experience, imager of God, yes. Marshally, no. You need, you need more, okay? And that's why we don't define Aikido as is Kihon Waza. There is much, much more to Aikido, especially martially, than it's Kihon Waza. So this is my answer for this last gateway video. Thank you.